Hey students, real quick, I wanted to show you how to modify your part in Fusion 360 to reflect uh, some information. So here is a quick part I made uh, a few days ago, and um, I wanted to calculate how much this would cost to manufacture. And to do that, I needed to figure out some properties of this part. It's not very big, so what we need to do is uh, come in here and you see that there, uh, there's a drop down menu for bodies right here. Um, this is the one body of my part. So if this was assembly, it would have several bodies, but this is one part, so it has one body. And I can um, do something here, which is assign a material to it. So if I right click on the body, there's some options here, delete it, sure, uh, change the appearance and texture. This is something you want, might want to play with at some point to make them not just gray. Um, but you can also change the physical material right here. So click on physical material and this set of um, options come up. You can make it out of a ceramic or various fabrics, gases apparently, uh, liquids, metals, plastic, stone, wood. Each of these materials are pre-programmed into Fusion 360 and they will demonstrate properties of that um, material. You can um, eventually evaluate your parts so that this becomes very important when, say, you want to do some simulations on stress testing your parts to make sure that they would work in the real world. And so you can do a lot of really powerful evaluations. Right now, we just want to know how, how heavy this is going to be and how much material it's made up of. So um, I'm going to make this out of a plastic. So here's a bunch of plastics right here. They're all in alphabetical order. And I'm sure there's a lot of these that you don't actually know what they are. Um, like what's laminate? I don't know. Nylon, you probably know what nylon is, but there's a lot of different plastics in here. And you can choose what you want your charm to be made out of. Uh, PET plastic is what uh, water bottles are made out of. Um, this PVC is what uh, a lot of some of your like jackets are made out of this. And also uh, plumbing is made out of uh, PVC. There's tons and tons of um, plastics. Let's see. So the most common plastic for 3D printing is called PLA or polylactic acid. And I don't know if it's on this list, which would be really weird um, because this is a modern program. So it doesn't look like it's here, which is unfortunate. Just general plastic, who knows what that is. At any rate, there are a lot of um, options here. So I'm just going to pick uh, rubber, butyl rubber for mine for some reason. And for some reason, it's not saving. Or it is. No, it's steel. I no, so you drag and drop it. That's how you change it in this in Fusion 360 now. Okay, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna choose nylon now because it's right here. I'm gonna move it up, just drag it there. And now I've changed my material. Cool. Close this window and you can get some more information here. Right click on body again and you can see that there's a thing called properties. This will give you properties of your object. It'll give you your the surface area of this product, the density uh, using that plastic. Uh, that's a property of the plastic itself, how much it would weigh, the volume, in this case it's in millimeters cubed, um, and some other material properties as well. Uh,